The term die-off refers to when the candida is being starved out and even being killed. Uh, it's The official term is Herxheimer's. The feeling that you get with die-off will vary from flu-like symptoms, uh, chills, fatigue, a little brain fog, just, just not a general well-being feeling. Um, if you go with your program maybe a little too fast, you have stronger symptoms, and we try to ease those symptoms by going slow again. The term die-off or Herxheimer is a uh, when candida is dying off, it, it doesn't want to die off. So it's sort of tug of war, it's a little fight back. It emits chemicals to uh, protect itself. And so it, therefore it makes us feel uncomfortable. It can be sort of like flu-like symptoms. You can help the die off process with different supplements uh, to change the pH, uh, do a little mop up with charcoal type and clay type uh, supplements. Uh, slow up on the, on the program just a little bit so that you don't that you, you can lead your life and go to work so it doesn't have to be too de debilitating. pH is important with candida but, but uh, there are a lot of arguments about what the pH should be whenever you're a candida patient. Uh, from my experience when someone has candida uh, they are testing uh, pretty low and very, very acidic. Some practitioners like to raise the pH very high and keep it high. My idea is that to just keep it balanced, we keep a check on your pH uh, daily for a while until you get used to what you're eating and what you're, what you're taking to keep that pH balance. It will drop again sometimes if your candida comes back with uh, higher levels or die off is happening. So the, the idea uh, is that the, the bug itself, if you will, the yeast itself will create an environment uh, of a pH that it likes so that it can live longer and we're trying to offset that.